fluidized bed combustion is a combustion technology used to burn solid fuels. In its most basic form, fuel particles are suspended in a hot, bubbling fluidity bed of ash and other particulate materials through which jets of air are blown to provide the oxygen required for combustion or gasification. The resultant fast and intimate mixing of gas and solids promotes rapid heat transfer and chemical reactions within the bed. FBC plants are capable of burning a variety of low-grade solid fuels, including most types of coal and woody biomass, at high efficiency and without the necessity for expensive fuel preparation. In addition, for any given thermal duty, FBCs are smaller than the equivalent conventional furnace, so may offer significant advantages over the latter in terms of cost and flexibility. FBC reduces the amount of sulfur emitted in the form of SOx emissions. Limestone is used to precipitate out sulfate during combustion, which also allows more efficient heat transfer from the boiler to the apparatus used to capture the heat energy. The heated precipitate coming in direct contact with the tubes increases the efficiency. Since this allows coal plants to burn at cooler temperatures, less NOx is also emitted. However, burning at low temperatures also causes increased polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon emissions. FBC boilers can burn fuels other than coal, and the lower temperatures of combustion have other added benefits as well. Benefits There are two reasons for the rapid increase of FBC in combustors. First, the liberty of choice in respect of fuels in general, not only the possibility of using fuels which are difficult to burn using other technologies, is an important advantage of fluidized bed combustion. The second reason, which has become increasingly important, is the possibility of achieving, during combustion, a low emission of nitric oxides and the possibility of removing sulfur in a simple manner by using limestone as bed material. Fluidized bed combustion evolved from efforts to find a combustion process able to control pollutant emissions without external emission controls. The technology burns fuel at temperatures of 1400 to 1700 degree Fahrenheit well below the threshold where nitrogen oxides form. It also avoids the ash melting problems related to high combustion temperature. The mixing action of the fluidized bed brings the flue gases into contact with a sulfur-absorbing chemical, such as limestone or dolomite. More than 95% of the sulfur pollutants in coal can be captured inside the boiler by the sorbent. The reductions may be less substantial than they seem, however, as they coincide with dramatic increases in carbon and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons emissions. Commercial FBC units operate at competitive efficiencies, cost less than today's conventional boiler units, and have NO2 and SO2 emissions below levels mandated by federal standards. However, they have some disadvantages such as erosion on the tubes inside the boiler, uneven temperature distribution caused by clogs on the air inlet of the bed long starting times reaching up to 48 hours in some cases. OR, production of NOx is temperature dependent as in FBC temperature is less than other combustion processes hence it results in low production of NOx. Lower production of SOx because SO2, SO3 etc. are captured by limestone. FBC has 10 times more heat transfer than other combustion processes because of burning particle, hence it has a high combustion efficiency. FBC has a lower combustion temperature of 750 a degree Celsius whereas an ordinary boiler operates at 850 a degree Celsius. FBC has low sintering process. Less area is required for FBC due to high coefficient of convective heat transfer. Isothermal bed combustion as temperature in free belt and active belt remain constant. Low air pollution. Types. FBC systems fit into essentially two major groups, atmospheric systems and pressurized systems, and two minor subgroups, bubbling and circulating fluidized bed. Equals FBC equals, atmospheric fluidized beds use limestone or dolomite to capture sulfur released by the combustion of coal. Jets of air suspend the mixture of solvent and burning coal during combustion, converting the mixture into a suspension of red-hot particles that flow like a fluid. These boilers operate at atmospheric pressure. Equals PFBC equals, the first generation PFBC system also uses a sorbent and jets of air to suspend the mixture of solvent and burning coal during combustion. 
However, these systems operate at elevated pressures and produce a high-pressure gas stream at temperatures that can drive a gas turbine. Steam generated from the heat in the fluidized bed is sent to a steam turbine, creating a highly efficient combined cycle system. Advanced PFBC, a one or one-half generation PFBC system increases the gas turbine firing temperature by using natural gas in addition to the vitiated air from the PFB combustor. This mixture is burned in a topping combustor to provide higher inlet temperatures for greater combined cycle efficiency. However, this uses natural gas, usually a higher priced fuel than coal. A PFBC In more advanced second generation PFBC systems, a pressurized carbonizer is incorporated to process the feed coal into fuel gas and char. The PFBC burns the char to produce steam and to heat combustion air for the gas turbine. The fuel gas from the carbonizer burns in a topping combustor linked to a gas turbine, heating the gases to the combustion turbine's rated firing temperature. Heat is recovered from the gas turbine exhaust in order to produce steam, which is used to drive a conventional steam turbine, resulting in a higher overall efficiency for the combined cycle power output. These systems are also called APFBC or Advanced Circulating Pressurized Fluidized Bed Combustion Combined Cycle Systems. An APFBC system is entirely coal-fueled. GFBC Gasification Fluidized Bed Combustion Combined Cycle Systems, GFBCC, have a pressurized circulating fluidized bed partial gasifier feeding fuel singers to the gas turbine topping combustor. The gas turbine exhaust supplies combustion air for the atmospheric circulating fluidized bed combustor that burns the char from the PCFB partial gasifier. Chips A chip system is similar, but uses a furnace instead of an atmospheric fluidized bed combustor. It also has gas turbine air preheater tubes to increase gas turbine cycle efficiency. CHIP stands for Combustion-Based High Performance Power System. See also Chemical looping combustion, fluidized bed, fluidized bed reactor, future Gen Zero emissions coal-fired power plant, great firing, JA Northside generating station, pulverized fuel firing. References, National Energy Technology Laboratory, EU regulation, pollution from large combustion plants, simulation of a commercial CFB coal combustor.